In this short video, I'm going to walk you through how you can use Google Takeout to manage the archival of email from your Google Mail. So many of us were a part of NC State for a long time and we have email going back maybe even 15 years. And so this video demonstration is here to show you what you can do inside of Google Mail to one, clean up the things that you no longer need to retain, and two, how you can use labels to go in and then export that mail that you think you might need using Google Takeout. So labels are the way that you kind of folder organize things, right? And any given message within Google Mail can have one or more labels. And so that's a really handy way to categorize the things that we have. And uh, there's lots of information out there about how to do that if you're not sure. But you can use those labels then in a service called Google Takeout to select just those messages for export. You can also quickly select those messages by labels to go in and do a bulk removal of messages. But I want to show you one thing that's really interesting that you can do inside of your Google Mail in the search. You can search for things by date. So for example, if I wanted to find everything that was sent to me originally before January 1st of 2021, let's do that. So we'd type in before 2021-01-01, just like this, and then hit enter. This is all the email messages that were sent to me before that time. And you'll notice as you get up to the top here, like, okay, well, you have a couple in here that are after that, Keith, what's going on? And so the reason why is because this message was originally sent to me on Friday, December 18th of 2020. And so you have to be a little careful about what you're cleaning up because if you have long conversations that have maybe taken place over a long period of time, you're going to end up with some messages that inevitably cross over. But what do we do if we want to grab all these? Because you can see I have these in several different labels already. Some of them are not labeled. They were just archived immediately, maybe by a rule. And I'd never even really thought about them or saw them. So what do I do? Um, so I'm going to click this checkbox here, which is select. And that's going to select everything that's on this page. And you'll notice that when you do a search, it's always going to say of many because it doesn't tell you how many there actually are. But what we can do is then click this link that says, select all conversations that match this search. So let's do that. Okay, now it tells me that all of the matching conversations are selected. And from here, what I wanna do is say that I wanna create a new label and apply it. And this is where things in Google get really handy, right? Because we can have one or more labels, we're adding a label, not removing anything that was already there. So I'm gonna do create new, and I'm just gonna say that I want this one to be called before 2021-0101, right? And click create. And then it wants me to confirm that it's going to do this to everything. I'm gonna say yes. And it's going to reload the page for me after it goes through and applies this label. And this may take some time depending on how many messages you have and that sort of thing. Okay, in this case, that took about two to three minutes for everything to update. So if you pick something that has thousands and thousands of messages, just be patient. It may take some time to go through, but now you can see this label before 2021-0101 has been added to all of these messages. Okay, that's great. So if I click just this, let's click just on my label here, search for all this. So this is just those messages. And you'll see there were about 5,000 uh, 738 of those messages that ended up getting selected. And you can see it's now here in the left side in my labels list. So what I wanna do is go to Google Takeout and that can be found at takeout.google.com. You'll log in with your university Google account. And then what I like to do before I work in Google Takeout every single time is at the very top, there's a link that says deselect all. I like to click that. That makes sure that I'm only exporting exactly what I pick to export. I'm gonna scroll down and find Google Mail.
and here we are with Google Mail. And I'm going to check this. And I want, right now it says that all mail is going to be included and I don't want that. I just want to have my before 2020 0101 added to this. So let's go in, we're gonna deselect some of these choices that were in here. Oops, more here. Quick scroll. Looks like we're fully deselected now on everything. Okay, now let's go ahead and select our before. Here we are, there's the label. And we'll click OK. That's just going to select that one label and then we have multiple formats. And so all of our email messages are going to go into an inbox format that's, you can open that using a variety of tools um, and we'll cover that in another video, but ultimately, it's an archive format that's a standard archive format. And so now that we've done this mail backup, we're gonna click next step at the bottom of the page. From here, I just wanna export this once. I want a link sent to me via email so I can download it. And I want this as a zip file, and then I can pick the file size and the default of two gigabytes is, is fine. It's gonna split up anything that's larger than that into multiple files, and it's gonna do that all on its own. You don't have to change this. I, like I said, I, I like to keep it as the default. Go ahead and click Create Export. From here, it's going to create the copy of it and kick off that export. If you want to at this point, you can create another export and you'll ultimately wait until you get the message in your email. Once you have that message in your email, it'll give you a link to go and download the file or files, depending on how many there are, to get all of your mail that you selected to be exported. Once that's done, you'll have a backup of that mail. And you can store that in your shared drive, uh, you can store that uh, in your uh, network attached storage, so in your P drive or your S drive, depending on who needs access to it. And that's a great way to get that out of your mail. You can go back to your email at that point and grab this label and you can come in here and select, again, select using the checkbox here, and then select all conversations. And at this point, what you can do is actually just hit delete. After 30 days, all of this will be removed from the trash in your mail. And so that's a great way to go and clean up, and archive all of the messages that were sent or received before 2021 01 or 1 or whatever date that you specify.